What's up guys and welcome to 60 parsecs as I said we're playing 60 parsecs How about yeah, I cannot intro but don't worry about that because we're gonna get into this game that I saw and I was interested so whatever Oh, that's nuclear apocalypse imminent Excluding order 1961. I prefer order 66 new patrol in, 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 in initiated commence Astro citizen emergency drill and brace for nuclear impact Yes, sir. Duct tape. Fixes all problems. But how do you fix duct tape? Yeah, it uses wires. Let me just grab some of that. I've seen the, um, nuke, like, the regular version of this game, so it's like, eh, whatever, let's do that. It's gonna give me some tutorial, find medical supplies, alright. Kinda want that cow thing. What the heck is this weirdo doing back here? Run, buddy! Find a handbook. Okay, doker. Give me, give me, give me. I see an outline. Give me. Sweet. Gotta do you know good old tutorial. All right, gotta get that box too while I'm at it. Find a crewmate. Uh, let's go with uh, this person. They seem to be perfectly all right. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> all right. What? What do you want? Can I pick up more crap? High risk of impact. Ah, crap. Uh, everybody, run. Uh, it's not letting me pick up much stuff. Up, oh, up. No, now it is. Uh, uh, grab everything. Freaking grab everything. I want everything. I'm gonna need crewmates, probably. I'd venture to think. Run, fool! Run! Put the fat guy in there. Uh, grab more crap. Uh, do I need a shovel? Probably not. Uh, I'm gonna bring this, though. And this. Can I bring this lady? Oh, good, she's small. Run! We gonna get nuked! Uh, find soup. Soup is always good. Get more soup. Dang, this thing ticks up three. Grab this dude. It was a miss. Destruction delayed. Woo! Woo! Alright, now what? Alert. Incoming missile detected. High risk of impact. Okay, um, let me grab more crap. I want that. Uh, sock puppet? Sure. That's a pistol. Get soup. Where are you at? I'm at soup. Give me this thing. This thing looks cool. I want it. More soup. Uh, pistol. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need that. You always wanna have a pistol. Uh, this guy's fat. Um, I'll bring soup instead. Open up! FBI, open up! Hey, run! Run, 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 run. Grab the fat dude. Ugh. Run, fool! Okay. Uh oh. The planet Earth gone. Boom, boom, bye, bye. Oh crap! Oh crap! That ain't good. That ain't good. No, 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 sir or madam. Oh shit! Ah crap!
I'm good. My microphone's on. I don't want. To, I don't want it to be like my freaking Bioshock stream where my microphone was like, "Nah, we're not doing that." Day one. Captain's log. I've got a. Uh, this guy. He looks like he's seen some shit. Uh, we got. We got a few people. Let's see here. Probably wants me to do that thing. Hi, Astro, computerized assistant, reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I'm pleased to announce, due to your actions during the escape, you are a perfect candidate to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard, Escape Shuttle Captain. On behalf of the Astro Assistant Program, please accept our apologies for the small inconvenience of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. Current goal, find a safe place to land on and then try to contact outside world. Please power up the main computer for further instructions. It is located on the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing patrol and feed your crew. I await for your decision, Captain. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so I'm not very strong. I'm flexible and brilliant. That's that's nice. Yeah, I can tell by the freaking flip I did. She's limber and average everywhere else. Average. He's got. He's, he's pretty clever. He's fit though, so that's. He doesn't really look fit. He's got an average agility. He's. <laughs> he's just plain dumb. Just dumb. Look at that face. Oh my God! Look at his name. Baby Bronco. Oh my God. This is the dumbest crap. Strength mighty. Hmm. Good to know. All right. So we've got a cow-looking thing. It's gold. Uh. Navigation system. We got all sorts of good stuff, so that's nice. The floor is yours, Captain. You should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and crew through the stars. You prepared it, of course. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show that breed of Captain you will be incredible at this journey. What kind of speech will you give? Well, my guy is pretty smart, so I'm going to go with intelligence. Because I'm guessing you had to do one of those. Alright. Ah. So that's how you end day. This is where you ration out food and crap. That's good to know. Good to know. Got a nice book. Got a gun. All sorts of crap. Soup! We've got lots of soup. That's very good. Why are we keeping the sock in there? <laughs> very important. We have to keep our sock. Alright, let's uh, go on to the next day. Everyone seems fine. Day two. You know exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as a captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with your speech. Long live the captain filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through a soundless void outside the hull of this ship, that would be it. One other thing is for sure. You are ready to challenge the ga- ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. Alright. Alright. Everybody looks good and okay, there's no problems. Uh, let's see here. Captain, it is important to keep yourself and crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one could be the difference between life and death. That is why it's important to keep your inventory stuck unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha. <laughs> that was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Look, we're bonding already. This is bonding. <laughs> Super awkward. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Uh, well, he's got one eye. I don't really want to trust him. She probably seen shit. He's just plain dumb. He probably can't even do the math. All right, coffee lady, do some things. Uh, do your thing. Let's see here. Day three. 
Good news, Captain. This shuffle, uh, this shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. Plus soup. The routine supply check is now complete, and it does not compute. An error was made. That, that's what I get for trusting humans to do math. Minus one soup. Damn it! <laughs> this fr the friggin' soup I just got got like friggin' removed. Some of your supplies went missing, and the current number of soup on board is six. With a decent leadership and rational restraint, the reserve of food on this ship should be sufficient for the time being. That being said, it is your best interest to produce more as soon as possible. Okay. What do we got here? Captain, the crafting module in the back of the cabin is now active. You might remember this from Astro Citizen training. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of mineral and chemicals or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies. As well as upgrade items, the shuffle has the shuffle and system. Shuffle and the shuttle sy systems. Alright. Is that it? No. Uh. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, there it is. It's crafting module. What can, what, what's craftable? We're probably going to need lots of soup. I can upgrade the cow thing. I can also upgrade the book. That would be cool. What's recyclable? Everything's recyclable. Hmm. Well, I don't want to recycle the book because I have a feeling that's going to be important. The artifact, I just want to keep because it's cool. If it comes down to it, I'll totally get rid of it. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> let's upgrade this handbook. Since I feel like that will be important. Yeah, I already saw that. Is everybody okay? Experimental. Yeah, they seem fine. Moving on to the next day. Day 4, Captain's Log. Captain, I told you I switched on the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I thought it simple enough to be operated by humans, but perhaps I was wrong. Upgraded complete. New item available. Handbook revised edition. Huh. Well, I, I used it. I don't know what you're angry about me for. <laughs> what do you want from me? Don't need that mask right now. Everything I freaking put in here, I, I need. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just like uh, do whatever. See what's up there. All right, let's see. What's the word, Captain? Thus far, I've kept the shuttle in artificial gravity, but I need to see how well the crew does to adapt to zero gravity and weightless environment. The benefit of weightlessness is that you can store anything anywhere. The domes. The downside is it's harder to move around and practice mandatory, but if more than one person runs a zero-g test at a time, it will be chaos. Who do you want to test? Ah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh crap, I forgot to check everybody. They looked fine, though. Day 5. Bronco is starting to get a beard. You passed the zero gravity test with flying colors. I stopped the shuttle's rotation and you drifted out of your seat, navigating weightless environment like an Olympic swimmer. You didn't even break anything. The data I used to gather extremely useful in the future. You should eat something, Captain. Dee Dee is hungry, Tom is hungry, Baby is hungry. Well, I mean, they're not starving, are they? I'm sure they'll be fine. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheater, the overheating itself, isn't a problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is we store our minerals under the water recycler. I worry that the minerals there, even leftover traces, could be melt and bo or boil if exposed to too much heat. That could be hazardous. A manual reset could work, but it will be tough. Do you want to try it? Uh... 
Well, I don't want to melt our crafted material, so... Yeah, I'm sure you all will be fine. You all don't look like you're skin and bones or anything like that yet. Day six, Captain's Log. You opted to manually reset the overheating recycler. The job was harder than you expected. An Astro Citizen uh, Patent Water Recycler Guide specifically warns against not releasing any steam jets during such repairs. The system jets you lose vaporized some exposed material stored next to the recycler. You're lucky you didn't. it didn't vaporize you. Minus eight rock or whatever that is. Well, shit. Damn. Well, now this guy's got a beard. You're still just hungry, I'm sure. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You guys are fine. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We have registered unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who's sending them. And more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse. A new type of Soviet encryption. <gasps> Soviet Russia is trying to get to us. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. For all we know, survival depends on it. Who do you want to charge the monitor communications? Well, me. I'm. I'm. That guy's smart. I'll do that. You're, you're intelligent. You. Yeah, it'll be fine. Who? Day seven. All right, people are starting to look not so good. She looks happier without her coffee. That the friggin' lady in the bottom right. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not exactly excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signals were intercepted. We're finally intercrept- er, <laughs> Finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I don't mean the Reds. It's something that we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent citizens in the galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather your life, will never be the same, Captain. You are now alert. You are starving, Captain. You should definitely eat something. Didi says she is glad to have you as her Captain. Didi is starving. Better get her something to eat. Alright. Starving. 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 Tyrant. Um, Alright, I'll feed everyone. Captain, I'm detecting troubling buildup on our mental tension. We recommend a course of action to throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite entire crew? But of course. The more the merrier, I guess. How about we invite some new A captain? Someone you don't know or make themselves a companion? Yes. How do we do it? It's the perfect time to employ the shock puppet. Alright, everyone's starving, but I think I saw a thing to feed everyone on here. No, where did I see that? Yeah, that's that. Ah, yes. Here it is. We're gonna we're only gonna have two soup after that. That's not good. I'm gonna have to start recycling crap. I really don't want to. Because, just, just because the, the items might be important in the future, but, you know, uh, can't, I can't really fix that problem, can we? Hmm. Well, we're gonna need soup, but it's, it's gonna take two days to make another batch of soup for everyone to eat. Uh, first aid kit's gotta be helpful. Alright, well, for, for now, everyone's fine. This might be a really bad idea, but for now, everyone's fine. We, they all get food, so everyone's fine. So it should be perfectly alright for the moment. I hope I can get some more soup somewhere. That was one super party, Captain. I loved how the sock puppet in your hand... I, lo I loved how you put the sock on your hand yesterday and pretended it was a person. A mysterious Dolores, apparently. 
You had quite a lively debate with it, too. Well, desperation breeds unexpected chat mates, doesn't it? Minus one sock puppet. Dang. I found it a little weird how you started arguing with the sock puppet and eventually tore it apart. You got quite a temper, Captain. The important part is you blew off some steam. Tom remains loyal. You are hungry. Dee Dee is hungry. Tom is hungry. Baby is hungry. Y'all just ate. Y'all just ate. This guy seems... Yeah, he's like perfectly fine. They're, they're all fine with this. I'm just over here... Mm, thinking. Oh, crap. I've got to recycle something to get food. I'm going to need food. I really don't want to get, get rid of this freaking handbook. I really think I'm going to need it. But I need this gun too, probably. I'm going to need that mask in case I never need to go outside. Well, then again, it is just a mask. I don't know. Hmm. Alert! A star just went supernova in this quadrant. Huge gravitational waves still reach us. Soon the space-time will stretch and contract. The gravity will fluctuate greatly, and most important, you, I will weigh up to three times the transmit slower. The ship's hull should hold, but I think things inside are much squishier, humans' bodies included. One of the Albert monkeys shot into space never regained his normal density after a wave remaining light and very wind dependent till the end of his days you need a plan on how to survive well I've got no strength so I'm just gonna have to go with friggin agility hope for the best I've got to get soup I can only I uh, get rid of these I can only get rid of my thingy and my mask for soup and my gun I could get rid of the artifact Yeah, let's get rid of that. We're gonna need food more than we're gonna need that artifact. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, it's gonna take four days, actually, because... Because mm, I gotta get two materials, and then I gotta craft two soup. You have secured everything tight and turned off. The ship's gravity to let a wave swipe through minimal interaction. You stayed alert, moving gracefully through zero G, proving monkeys are not needed in space. Then the gravitational waves it, and you saw the hole stretch and contract as if it was bubblegum. In some cosmic brat's mouth, a, a screw started coming loose in the window, but you managed to reach it in time. The gravitational tsunami ended as abruptly as it began. I left feeling thin, like a thin giant. Recycling operation complete. How do you feel like a thin giant? Ah, no need to be violent. Something seems to be troubling you, Captain. I've registered you keep starting, staring outside the window into the endless void. Why? Did you lose something? I see. You are remembering Earth. I admit, it was nice before the nuclear BBQ. That is... I can switch off for a second, Captain. Do you wish to have a moment to yourself? What the heck was I gonna do with a cow? <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. Nobody's hungry at the moment, so... Or nobody's starving. <clears throat> Day 10 Captain Oh boy People are not looking well That's right Captain Keep your emotions in check And develop unhealthy cop coping mechanisms That should keep standing You know what's better than a, gr than a grim human More grim humans Recycling operation complete you are starving, Captain. I recommend you find something to eat. It took... It looks like Didi went nuts. Didi is starving. Can you secure a serving of soup for her? It looks like Tom went insane. Tom is starving. He shouldn't go without food for long. It looks like Baby is now insane. Baby is starving. Try to find him something to eat. 
Crap, we all went insane. Oh my god, he's got underwear on his head. What the frick? He's understandable in his position on things. Well, I'm the captain, so I've got to eat. And... <laughs> you hear the noises? <laughs> well, he's normal. <laughs> Crying and laughing at the same time, methinks. Well, let's food you. You get food. Let's craft us some soup. We are most certainly gonna need it. Because if you all survive this... Oof. Captain! That's the only thing I've got. Wake up! We are approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's n a small planet. Let me run a quick scan. 96%. 98%. 100%. Scanning complete. I was right. A small, rocky planet with no organic life forms. But there's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect some caves and rock formations below. Uh, Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, you'll have to fix a small manu... Mali mali malfunction with our steering system since we're not able to turn at the moment oh and you will have to and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet hurry all right this book will do <laughs> well at least i'm not insane like the other people or sick no i'm not tired no, it's a, a nice mo no, funny noises. We're making the kind of soup. I don't really care about Brunka, so uh, he'll just have to wait for his ration of soup. Whee! Oh, crap. That was not a good landing, me don't think. Uh-oh. Things did not go well. You flip through the trusty handbook looking for some kind of manual, or at least... How to land the spaceship for dummies chapter. Not sure if it was fast reading skills or pure luck, but you open the book to the right page. Following the instructions is recommended the cable steering shuttle towards the ground. It was not a soft landing. Nobody's doing great after this stunt. Not even me. I've shaken to my cores. Yes, all of them. Your face had pretty unpleasant close encounter with the communicator module, and at least one of these things is, un is unless... Now consider fixing it if you want to avoid the radio since in silence in the future. What's next, Captain? Maybe well you or maybe you should use the information I found while scanning the environment. There are robotic units far from here, but my scans detect very few aggressive signatures. I think these are peaceful animatrons. Most of them. Perhaps they can be helped to you. And in the case of Parrish, at least I'll have company. So you have the win-win situation. Didi is still insane. Didi is still loyal. Tom continues to look insane. Baby appears to still be insane. Crafting completed. New item available. One soup. You should you should eat something, Captain. Tom is hungry. Yeah, I'm just hungry. She's freaking starving. I don't care about Bronco. He's retarded. You get food. Uh, we craft more food. What do we got here? Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin is now available. My advice, order someone to put on a spacesuit and send them outside. We must learn everything we can about this place. Let the space colonization commence. Okay. Tourist information. Village. Let's do that. Chance for electric hazards. Mm, takes two days. What about this place? Hazards, radiation, chance for rock. It's gonna take two days. Let's send, uh... Let's send her since she just got a ration anyway. Yeah, she'll be fine. Choose equipment. Uh, 
Uh, take this med kit with you. And... Yeah, just take the med kit with you. Yeah, this will be fine. Uh, hmm. Nothing much else I can do. Alright, let's go. She'll be gone for two days, so that means I don't have to feed her for two days. That's good. That, and I just fed her. The ultimate answer to life. The universe, everything, it's soup. Dee Dee is left to gather some information about our surroundings from the tourism center. Let's hope that she finds something more dusty, some more than something more than dusty brochures and tasty souvenirs. Baby is still insane. Baby is starving. Crafting complete. New item. Soup. <laughs> yeah, I have some of that. Uh, can we make more soup? We can. Ooh. I didn't know we already had material on board. Not enough supplies? Send one of your crew members out for expedition. Okay. Uh, we gotta think. Well, I'm intelligent, so we're gonna go with that no, regardless. One of the robotic denzines from the planet is eager to test himself against you. Captain, he lets you to make the choice between a test with of wits or physical prowess. Prove your support, uh, superiority to him. It's logic riddles or running around the shuttle to see who makes it. Makes the most rounds before giving up. Which shall it be? I'm gonna beat him in a round of wits. I'm gonna wit that guy to death. He's gonna be so outwitted. It's gonna be perfect. He's gonna be outwitted like a champion. Day 13. Oh, sweet. We got a soup from that. Or, yeah. In a contest of logic puzzles against him, Automatron was risky, but you won. All of it took uh, was applying some literal thinking. Your opponent just couldn't wrap his circuits around it. Some lateral thinking. The robot took his defeat graciously and thanked you for the entertainment. As he was leaving, too bad he didn't take bets. Tom continues to look insane. Baby continues to look insane. Crafting completed. New item available. Soup. You are starving, Captain. I recommend you find something to eat. Tom is starving. He should definitely eat something. Baby is hungry. Hmm. Starving. Starving. Well, this guy's insane, and I'm the captain, so I kind of need food more. Can we make more food? We can. I want to make more food. A strange new world. Yeah, you look dumber than normal. Like, a lot dumber. That's a problem. Captain, baby has been behaving oddly recent recently. Earlier, he was dawdling near our mer supplies, pretending to look out the window while conspicuously side-eyeing them and not inconspicuously filling his pockets. He sauntered over you. Hey, Cap, I've got a job coming up. Smash and grab gig. He glanced at the shells. Get some supplies you in. Crewmate Bronco appears to have registered. Uh, to be regressing to his pre astronaut citizen criminal days, sir. Will you entertain our onboard child fantasies? No. We, we gotta be responsible adults! Adults! We need to fix that pipe. That pipe is broken and it's not good. Alright, let's see here. Diddy should be back tomorrow. Hopefully with something good. Because we could really use some soup. Could always use more soup. There's still more soup. All right, soup is crafted. When Baby asked you to help him hide in our heist of shell supplies, you bluntly told him that the heist wasn't real. He's on a space station escape pod, and that everything he could feasibly heist was already being shared with him. He nodded in agreement. Then last night you caught him tiptoeing around sneakily. I can confirm nothing went missing, Captain Nellis. But please treat your crewmate Bronco with care when he is unstable like this. 
Tom is still insane. Tom looks starved. Baby appears to still be insane. Baby is still loyal. Crafting components. New item available. Soup. You are hungry. Well, you're starving. So get this man some food. Uh, we can't craft more soup. Crap, we're stuck in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Sheet. Uh, let's craft that. We might be able to get some soup from somebody else. Captain, my weather systems are detecting a storm on the horizon. It's moving fast, so it will hopefully pass by tomorrow. But this could get nasty. Thunder, lightning, gale force winds, sharp objects howling at you from every which way. I'd like to keep monitoring the storm movement through the night, but in doing so I would require sensors to run battery power. As it is undivisible to leave the main generator reactor through the storm. What do you want to do? Uh, we, uh, I thought I picked up an atomic battery. I guess not. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. 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 fine, fine, fine. It's gonna be all right. We're already at day fourteen, so that's just lovely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I already got something to craft. Uh, let's craft the cow. Actually, we're on a planet, and I just want the cow back. Give me the cow. Let's end this day and hopefully something goes good for us and Dee Dee returns. But you never know. So we're going to find out. Alright, we got a cow. You chose to wait out the storm rather than running monitoring systems on battery power. The wind shrieked to brutal rain pelted against the walls of the shuttle. But that was it. By morning, the weather was calm again. You spent the morning shifting through the washed up junk piles. But it was just a bunch of waterlogged crap. Dee Dee's still exploring the outside world. Baby's still insane. Crafting completed. No item available. Artifact. Tom is hungry. Baby is starving. Make sure you eat. That's right. Yeah, about that. We don't have any food. I should have crafted the communicator. Captain, we are able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communication console has been damaged during the landing, and we cannot make anything out of them. Or reply, for that matter. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged systems or subsystems and across the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Yeah, about that, we can't really fix that because, uh. We done fit. Let's do that since, uh, whatever. Bronco dies, that's fine. We can just. We, we, that's just one less person we have to feed for the remaining days. Day 16. Hey, Dee Dee's back, but she does not look well. At all. The lack of handheld communicator effectively stopped you from fixing the communications console. Too bad. We remain stuck in this place. But with no way of contact to the outside world, our situation has not improved. I urge to connect of impersonal. DD returned safely from her trip. Battery. DD is really tired. So I probably shouldn't send her out again. Let's make a really bad decision. Ooh, museum. Library. Let's make a super bad decision. Well, actually, no. Any of these places can give me food. That would be very nice. That gives me the stuff I can make food, but it'll take three whole days. I just don't want to have to deal with Bronco. Um, oh, she took the thing with her and didn't bring it back. Jerk. Uh, get out of my cabin, Bronco. I don't care. Captain, I detected humanoid figures approaching. It's a robot jittering among towards us, eventually, ev evidently blind. It walked right up to the shuttle and is now clinging to the hole repeatedly. The pitiful thing appears to be malfunctioning. Leave it to its mind-numbered fate or attempt to communicate with it. We don't have a communication system. Eh. Days remaining one. All right. Whatever. 
We are so fucked. Well, at least I know I made it to day 17. Day 17, Captain's Log. Just before you shut the door, taking a look at the robot outside, still moshing at the hole, the vice-like grip clutched into the airlock handle, the droid pulled open the door in incredible force and walked into the cabin, where it began knocking into walls and crew, and, and crew while screaming in binary. It didn't seem to want to hurt you or anything. This morning it woke from its stoop stepper and left clutch its head until it must have been morning after the night before. The sleepless night. Well, she didn't get to sleep. Oh, crap. Her stomach's still rumbling. Eat something before it's too late. DD appears to still be insane. Tom remains low. Upgrade complete. Crafting module level 2. DD has rested. Oh, that's good. DD is starving. She, should go, she shouldn't go without food. Tom is starving. Find something for you to eat. Oh, crap. Crafting unavailable. Why? Captain, something's not right. There's an uncontrolled power surge in the crafting module. Uh, use brains. Fix it, fix it, fix it. We need that. We need it, like, now. I need to make more soup. The power of soup. We need soup. Amazing, Captain. Not only did you stop the power surge in the crafting module, but you also upgraded it in the progress. You remain quite alert. You're still starving, sir. Eat something. Dee Dee's still insane. Dee Dee still looks starved. Tom continues to look insane. Tom still looks starved. Tom remains low. Well, you're not skin and bones yet, so that's not the worst thing. I thought I just fixed it, you twat. What the hell? Captain, an old previously dormant satellite on the planet orbits is suddenly activated. Uh. And it's transmitting. The message is coded with a cipher. The robots around here don't use it. Don't use. It has to be aliens. The transmission says, Are you a robot? That's all. That's all it says. Over and over. Well, I. How can I respond? They're taunting me, Captain. You ha you need to deal with this somehow to prove to them that we are not robots. You're not, are you? Uh, at least we have a better we have a better this thing than combined strength, so we're just gonna have to go with our intellect and hope that we're stupid enough for them to be like, okay, you're not a robot. can't craft anything still, so I can't make you all any god dang soup! Frick. I can't make any god damn soup. Ah, we're screwed. Let me make some god dang friggin' soup. Somebody's gonna die. No? Uh, they're not quite well, but they're not dead. Dee Dee is still insane. Dee Dee looks starved. Tom appears to still be insane. Dee Dee has rested. Dee Dee is weak. Can you do something about it? Uh, frick. No, I cannot. As long as your crafting system's not available. Why? Use the book. Those weird sport spots on your arms. They're a little worrisome. I have spots on my arms? Oh, crap. Uh, use the book. Uh, it's definitely not good. Probably. I don't have any god dang freaking soup because the machine is god damn diddly broken. The fuck? Why is the soup thingy broken? Why is Don Craft and Nata so broke? I need to craft a date or things. Alright, now people are gonna be screwed. Dee Dee's probably gonna die. Day 20. Yeah. Well, she's not good. Dee Dee is still starving. Dee Dee remains weak. Tom appears to still be insane. 
Weird spots appeared on your body yesterday. Luckily, you found the solution in your handbook. The spots were first symptoms of a potentially dangerous and highly shameful ailment. At least it was easy to cure. All you needed to do was follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the handbook. Oh, sweet. Why are you not working? I just want to use my goddamn science materials to make some soup. You can't do anything. Not worth my time. Well, we are so screwed. I thought we were going to die earlier, though, so that's pretty good. We've gone quite a few days without food. Bronco's definitely not back. Why are you still broken, you piece of crap? Looks like we have a leak, Captain. The sprinkler and tape wire. This is so not good. I know Bronco is probably not going to come back with any goddamn food. He's going to come back with, like, materials, maybe, if he does come back. Oh, he did come back. Nice. Did he get us anything? 30 food. Or 30 chemical. Too bad that we can't craft anything. Why? Why is the craftinator the brokenator? The metal detector has shown a piece of ancient robot technology buried a few places from the shuttle. I don't know what it is. this is possible, but it's a coffee, it's a coffee maker. Fancy one. Do robots drink coffee? Anyway, the coffee maker is buried too deep. Well, we need to take all the risk we can. We're gonna die anyway, so might as well. Uh. Hazard's cultist, I guess. There's such thing as robot cultist. Uh, let's send her out. Even though she's weak and she'll probably die anyway. Well, uh, I think it's, uh... Pretty obvious why this went downhill really quick. Because that there thingy is dead. Very much so. If I can't craft any goddamn soup, I'm gonna be so fucked. Oh crap. You and the other crew members dug up the fancy coffee maker and discovered it was still full of beans gen genetically engineered to meet robots' taste, meaning the longest lasting and best tasting in the universe. They were still good. You sat and shared most of the amazing cup of coffee with your f for, of your lives, philosophizing for hours about how robots were able to perfect this one exclusive human art form. Didi left to visit the information center again. She left there the most be learned little outpost. You are still starving, sir. You can always craft some soup. You remain in poor health. Tom remains insane. Uh, where am I even at? Is this available? Why are you still unavailable? How do I fix? I've got a manual right here. Somebody fix it. It's because everyone's insane. Doesn't know how to craft. Well, we've got Bronco on the shuttle. Convinced you to go out for a short walk. Around the shuttle would stretch outside. Even if you claim I forced you with my consistent whining for your own good, Captain. When you stepped outside, you noticed a small asteroid coming right at you. You tried to run back inside, but it looks like the airlock snapped beh shut behind you. I need a moment to, re to reopen the door for you. Let's go with agility. That's the best bet. Alright, who gonna die? Somebody gonna die. Is I gonna die? I thought I was already dead, so... No, not quite. Day 24. Oh. Yeah, I died. This guy's alive, though. Although insane. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. 
<laughs> just like I watched my friends die, I'm out here starving. Uh, with the asteroid falling out there, there's not a lot of time to do precision. You tried to jump out of the way, but it tripped. Sure, you avoided direct asteroid hit, but you can see, but you, but I can see you limping, Captain. You look messed up. A tender or two. Impaired your movement for some time. You are very lucky to still be in one piece given the velocity of the thing. A direct hit would smear you across the ground like a tomato. Your stomach remains empty. Eat something. Tom is insane. Tom is still loyal. Baby's still insane. Baby still looks starving. Baby died. Baby kicked the bucket. Cause of death, starvation. Was it not going to talk about how I died? Nope, nope. That's just the end. You perished in the font of old alien movies. Well, um... Hmm. That didn't go too badly. Uh, sure. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and, um, we died. Yeah. We died. Anywho, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a very good one. Goodbye.